in this tutorial we are going to create this data entry form we have an excel file this excel file contains the product category and color and we are going to submit the data to this excel file using our data entry form so i will close like this and i will start by entering my data i will select a category I will enter a color then I will submit success data has been saved now let's open our file again so as you see our data has been submitted to our excel file now let's start by doing this project let's close I will start by creating a new folder I will call it for example project like this and I will get my excel file and put it in my folder and I will open the command line prompt and install the required modules so I will say pip install open by xl this is the first module now let's install custom tkinter so I will say pip install custom tkinter now let's proceed so let's open visual studio code i will import my folder so i will say file and i will choose my project and select like this now let's create a new python file i will call it for example data.python now let's start by importing the modules so i will say import open pi excel and i will give it a name i will call it for example xl then i will import the custom tkinter and I will be using also tkinter so I will say from tkinter I will import everything okay and I will be using also a message box so I will say from tkinter I will import a message box okay now let's start by creating a simple window so I will create a new variable I will call it for example app equal to custom tkinter.ctk now let's make this app visible so i will say app dot main loop let's run and see the result so as you see this is our window now i will start by giving my window a size so i will say app dot geometry and I will give it a size so I will say for example 400 by 300 and I will give it a title so I will say app dot title I will call it for example data entry 4 okay now let's give it a background color so I will say app dot config so i'm giving a background color so i will say bg equal to and i will give it a color in hexadecimal so for example 290514 now let's see the result so this is the background color this is the title data entry form and this is the new size okay now i will create a new variable i will call it for example font1 equal to and i will open a bracket arial so this is the font type and i will also give it a size so i will say for example 20 and i will make it bold and i will create a second variable i will call it form 2 and instead of 20 i will format it to be 15 so i will need font 1 font 2 when creating the labels and entry boxes okay
Now I will start by creating the labels. So I will create a new variable. I will call it, for example, product label. And this will be equal to custom tkinter.ctk label. And I will place this label in my window. Remember that my window name is app. So I will say app. And I will give this label a text. So I will say text equal to product. Then I will give this text a text font. So I will say text font. And I will be using my variable font1. So this will be equal to font1. And I will give this label a width. So I will say width equal to 10. Now let's place this product label in our window. So I will say product label dot place and I will give it X coordinate equal to 20 and a Y coordinate equal to 30. Now I will take this copy and paste it for the category and for the color. So I will say category. Like this and this is the color so I will say color this will have a coordinate of 90 and this will have 150 like this okay now let's see the result so as you see we have three labels the product and the category and the color okay now let's start by creating the entry boxes so i will say product entry equal to custom tkinter.ctk entry and i will place it also in my app so I will say app and I will give it a text font. In this case, I will be using my second variable, which is font two. So I will say font two and I will say text variable equal to. Let's create a new variable because the text that will be entered in this entry box is a dynamic text. So I will be using that text variable like this. Now I will say, for example, product equal to string var and I will pass this product to my text variable okay again this is since the product entry will take a dynamic text so I will say product like this and I will also give it a width so I will say width equal to 150 now let's place this entry box so I will say product entry dot place and I will give it X coordinate of 153 and Y coordinate of 33. Okay. And I will take this copy and paste it for the color entry box. So I will say color, color, and I will give it a Y coordinate of 155 and I will create a new text variable for the color so I will say color equal to string var let's change the text variable to color instead of product like this now let's see the result so as you see this is the first entry box for the product and this for the color okay now let's create a combo box for the category so i will create a new variable i will call it category for example combo box equal to custom tkinter dot ctk combo box and i will place this combo box in my app so i will say app and i will give it a text font this will equal to font 2 then what i'm going to do i will say values so this combo box will take values 
let's open a square brackets the first value will be the pc and the second value will be the smartphone so i will say smartphone like this okay now let's give it a width so i will say what equal to 170 okay and i will give also the drop down hover a color so i will say drop down hover color let's give it a color one four five e one five okay now let's place this category combo box category combo box dot place and i will give it x coordinate of one five three and y coordinate of 95 now let's run and see the result so as you see we have a combo box for the category we have the pc and this is the hover color and we can select a smartphone and a pc okay now let's start by creating the buttons so i will say submit button equal to custom tkinter dot ctk button i will place this button in my app and i will give it a text this text will be submit and i will give it also a text font so i will say text font equal to font one i will give it also a foreground color so i will say fg color equal to I will say for example 0A8018 let's give it also a hover color so I will say hover color and this will be the same as the foreground color so I will take this copy and I will just paste it now let's say submit button dot place and I will place it x equal 50 and y equal let's run so as you see this is the submit button now let's create another button for the reset or for the clear button so i will just close i will take this copy and i will paste it i will call it the clear button the clear button and instead of submit I will say clear and I will give it x coordinate of 200 okay now for the foreground color let's make it for example AD 6507 and the same for the hover color so I will take this and paste it so this is the clear button okay now what we want to do we want to click on the submit button and submit our data and click on the clear button and clear our entry boxes so let's create the first function for the submit button let's go i will create a new function and i will call it submit so i will say def submit like this now i will create a new variable i will call it file equal to my open pi name which is xl so i will say xl dot load workbook and i will enter my file name in this case my file name is my data so let's say my data dot okay now let's say sheet equal to file and i want sheet number one so i will say sheet one like this now i will start by creating another variable so i will say product value now i want to get the product value from the product entry box so i will simply say product entry dot get 
okay now I will take this copy and I will paste it now for the category so I will say category value instead of product category value equal to category combo box category combo box dot get and this for the color so I will say color like this okay now let's start by entering our data in our excel file so i will start by saying sheet dot cell and i will open a bracket like this then i will enter the column number so i will say column number i want to insert my data in column number one in this case for the product so i will say column equal to one and row will equal to sheet dot max row so this will get the number of the last row in our sheet so the number of the last row is one i want to insert in the second row so i will say sheet dot max row plus one so it will insert it in the second row and the value that I want to insert is simply the product value. So I will say product value. Now let's take this copy and paste. So I will take this copy and paste. Now for the category, I want to insert in column number two. I will remove this plus one. And this value will be the category this will be for the color so I will say color and I will also insert the color in column number three now after inserting I will say the following so I will say file dot save and I will enter my file name which is my data okay Now after saving our data, I will display a message box. So I will say message box dot show info. And I will give this message box a title. So I will say title. I will say for example, uh, success. I will give this message box a message. So I will say message equal to, for example, data has been saved okay and for the submit button i will say the following so i will say command equal to submit so i want by clicking on the submit button to call the submit function which is this function okay now let's create the second function for the clear so let's go i will define a new function i will call it clear like this this will simply clear the entry boxes okay so i will say product entry dot delete so i want to delete this entry box from the first index index zero till the end and I will do the same for the color entry box. So instead of product, I will say color. Okay. And for the clear button, I will say command equal to clear, which is our clear function. Now let's run and see the result. so let's enter some data so i will say for example and i will select a category and i will enter a color and i will click on submit data has been saved okay now let's clear i will say for example dell pc and the color black 
click on submit again data has been saved okay so now let's check our excel file let's open my data so as you see the data has been entered in our excel file 